Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So as you saw in the last video, the new, the new building is just going up killer. The guys are, are knocking it out of the park. So looking forward to getting in there. Um, but before my electrician comes in and takes down all the, the current stuff I have on my dust collection system, um, there's a few things I can do that are gonna go in that new shop and I can just store them in here until we move. We're, hopefully it won't be too terribly long before we're moving gear in. So <clears throat> next up on the list, I got a whole bunch of plywood behind me and we're going after a whole brand new miter station. So I'll put a picture up here in the corner. Um, again, Mel helped me with the plans. And the really cool part about these plants is they're, they're all modular. So um, it's all very similar sizes or it's exact sizes actually through, through each one of the cabinets. So I can batch out a whole bunch of parts at once and really get these cabinets going together quick and then can, can trick them out a little bit more to fit what I need them to fit. So there will be uh, four Festool cabinets in this one. Um, not that I need four right now, but I'll have a little room for growth and it's gonna allow me to change up my drill station a little bit, which I, I wanna do down the road. But for now, there'll be four Festool cabinets um, and then a couple of banks of drawers of course the miter saw and and the fences and stop blocks and all that stuff but we'll talk about that stuff when i get there for now i need to go ahead and get going on this plywood and start breaking it down um, my friend from the old house is coming to visit us he's going to be here for a few days and he's looking forward to some shop time so we're going to work together on this um, but i need to get plywood out of the way so that we can work so that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm going to set up the table here, pull my insert out so I got a place for the blade, and we're going to go ahead and start breaking down plywood. Well, there's all the sides for the new miter station all roughed out. You can see they're not, they're not done yet. So these are just uh, in a rough state, so, but at least they're manageable now. So I'll go ahead and set up the fence um, and we'll get them ripped to final widths first and then I'll square off an edge and trim it to length. Okay, so there's all the sides cut to final dimension and they just, they came out great. I'm happy with those results. Everything's nice and square. So that's a, a good base to work from. So next up, my help will get here tomorrow and we'll hopefully get in a good groove to start putting some cases together and making these start to look like cabinets. All right guys, so my help is here. So I'm super happy about that. We can hopefully get in a rhythm. We're gonna go ahead and start notching these panels. Now the bottoms are going to get uh, full panels in them because these are all going to sit down on a, on a floor plate but we're going to go ahead and put full bottoms in them but the tops we can get away with using the off cuts from this and just just putting in the support where we need them. So I've done a drawing here um, this is a little bit different than what's in the plans because the plans actually use a full top as well which is what I'll do when I do the upper cabinets but for the lowers because I'm gonna double layer my top, it was just, it ended up being essentially a triple layer top for this and, and that was more than I needed. So I'm gonna put a nice big picture up in here so you can see exactly what my notch outs are and then they'll make sense. Um, we're gonna go over to the bandsaw and set that up with stops so once we make the first cut, we can just batch through all of them. Then we'll reset up the bandsaw and batch through them all. Um, and by the time we're done, we'll have the notches that we need then we'll come back and cut supports and get the, the dados cut or the rabbits cut in the bottom. Cut our panel with what I have left here and we can start assembling these cases. So, off to the bandsaw.
Okay, so there's all the panels uh, cut and ready to go. Next up, we're gonna, while I've got the single blade set up in the saw, we're gonna go ahead and cut the strips that we're gonna need. Um, I have lots of material left over, so we'll probably cut more strips than we really need. And then we'll come back and reset up the dado stack and groove the bottoms for bottom panels. And we'll be ready to assemble. Okay, so we're all set up to cut the rabbits uh, in the bottom of each panel. And I've run a test piece, it's all fitting great. So I'm happy with that. Um, it's important to remember at this stage that there's a left and a right to each one. It would be awfully bad to rabbit that many pieces and find out that you did it all on the same side. So I've got an X over here and we'll start stacking twos together. So we have a left and a right for each case and uh, get them done. Okay, so there's all the parts cut. We just need bottoms. Um, we're going to call that a wrap for tonight. We'll come back in the morning, cut bottoms, and then we'll start assembling uh, boxes. Okay, one down, seven to go. Okay, so there's all the carcasses built. I uh, got one down here on the floor that needed a little persuasion to be square. Um, not sure why, that was the only one that came out like that, but it is what it is. So next up, we're probably gonna face frame all of these and then we'll start looking at drawers. Okay, so I have two cabinets that have a cupboard door below and a drawer up front. So I've cut myself a couple of spacers, I've cut myself a center block, and I'm just gonna pocket hole this frame in. It, this is really more for looks than it is anything else. I don't need it structurally. So I'm just gonna pocket hole these in, and then we'll go ahead and, and mount the drawer glides in there and get ready for a drawer, even though I haven't built any drawers yet. Okay, so I've got all my drawer parts cut for those two that we, we just put slides in and reality is they're all going to be the same as far as the drawers, just the dimensions are going to change. So all the drawers are just going to be glue and butt joints and some screws and a quarter inch groove in the bottom, they'll all get uh, quarter inch bottoms. I have my standard blade set in here, I've got it a quarter of an inch up and I've got about three sixteenths deep. And all I'm going to do is groove all the parts and then I'm going to adjust the fence just a little bit until my quarter inch bottom material fits the way it should. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble the drawers.
Okay, so I cut the back panel. All I did was I got this all screwed together and then measured from the inside to the outside and added a, a 3 16 for my groove. And we're going to slide her in now. And just like that. I'll add a couple of screws in here in the bottom and that drawer will be ready to pop on the glides. Okay, so we got uh, these drawers installed last night. I apologize if I got to turn the camera on to, to uh, show you the glide installs. But we got 10 more of them to do over here today. So we're going to go on, we're going to batch out parts and build drawers. The construction's going to be exactly the same as they were for these. There's just going to be a lot more of them and they'll be a little bit deeper. Not a big deal, but I will remember to come back and turn the camera on and show you how I install the glides. Okay, so there's all the drawer boxes built. That took us uh, a little while. And we actually altered up a little bit on some sizes, just some last minute changes. So we're actually gonna have six drawers in each one. So anyways, next up we're going to start on the glides. Okay, so I wanted to take a second to show you what I like to do when you get banks of drawers like this. And it's important that they all fit exactly the same. Okay, for starters, I use some quarter inch scrap material underneath the drawer. Just, that's, that's my gaps between the drawers all the way. And then, if you look in the back, you'll see that I have some half inch material here that I actually have clamped up. And this, this half inch material, of course, is the same width as the drawer glide, so the drawer slides by it. And then I just came in and jigged out a stop for each one of the drawers as we go in. So this thicker piece, works as my stop for the glides all the way up. Every glide will come in in exactly the same place and every drawer will be pushed in and stop at exactly the same place all the way up. So now I can just work up the drawer and put all the, the glides in without ever having to stop and double check my measurements on the front or how far is the drawer going to go in or where does it line up. Everything is dialed in for me right here. And when I finish this cabinet I'll just take this set of jigs move it to the other cabinet because it's identical and repeat the process. Should really speed up the process for installing these drawers. Okay, so like I said, we got the quarter inch spacer underneath. The glide is mounted to the case, pushed up against the stop in the back, so I know that that's good. Now all I do is just flush up the front of that drawer and install the front screw. And I'll do that on both sides and then slide the drawer out. So now all I do is just pull the drawer out a little bit further, still on my quarter inch spacer, so I know my spacing is good, and install the second screw. Then I take the drawer out to finish the glide and get that, that third screw in the glide. Okay, so now with the glide up on the bench, or the drawer up on the bench, I can go ahead and locate that third screw. And I know it's perfect. And do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll reinstall the drawer. Okay, and just like that, this drawer is installed, and I know that those glides are exactly where they need to be, and everything is fitting nicely. So we'll just move on up the, the drawer bank. All right, so there's all six drawers in. They still got a little fine tuning to do. But for the most part, they're fitting pretty good. We'll live with it for now and I'll fine tune once we do drawer fronts and all of that. So there you go guys, it's all, uh, all the drawers are in, they're all working great, life is good. So we still have drawer fronts to do and I still have two cupboard doors to do and all the slides for the Festool pullout stuff. Um, but we'll get after that next time. So for this one, we're going to wrap it up. And until next time, guys, take care.